Hi, Boa. Welcome to the sixth issue of the online IT magazine Digit. I'm Dihan Fernando, the editor-in-chief. Fans of Digit who have been following us for the past five months notice a new program being introduced in the month of June. That's right, the Student IT Ambassador Program. We have already received a number of applications from students as far away as Anuradhapura who have shown their enthusiasm in joining the program. We hope to see more applications soon from every school in Sri Lanka. And for a select lucky few, we will be giving away special prizes. Check for more details at digit.lk slash ambassador. Any new contributors this month? Oh yes we do. We have five of them this month. Prasad, Theo, Thamir, Asla and Kalinder. Do check their profile and see what background they come from. Two events occurred in June. One is the E3 event with industry giants Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, EA and Ubisoft able to showcase their new line of games for this year and 2010. The other event is Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference with them introducing the new iPhone and MacBook Pro. Do take a look at the articles for more in-depth details. Do check Project Natal which is sure to astonish practically anyone. This month's issue also includes a feature article where Chandula Padmisri, a student of Ananda College, was able to win at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair held in Reno, USA. See details of his portable microscope invention from the feature article. We have Thamira introducing C++ in a whole new format. He brings a whole lot of fun of learning C++ and is worth reading. Chamila gives us a step-by-step -step guide on creating a simple flash banner for a site. His explanation with attention to detail makes the reading understandable and makes us feel like he is there helping us as we grasp the techniques. Kalinder gives us a feature on the recently started site called TechKata and lets our readers with some insights on the site and some behind the scene images of the group at work. It's a joy to see such projects being initiated. Before I conclude, I would like to highlight the profile of three contributors so that you would be aware of the skill set that is present behind the digit team. Do visit the contributor page for details on all our contributors. Sandarina Chaturika is currently working as a software engineer at Zeni Software International. She is a graduate of the University of Morotur obtaining a BSc in Information Technology honors from the Faculty of IT. She has interest in JSC and JWE related technologies and is currently working on telco middleware applications at Senna. She is very keen at learning new technologies and sharing what she knows with others. Chamiri Prasad Jai Singh is an undergraduate at Sri Lanka Institute of Information Technology. He has been working on computer programming since he was 12. Chamira has started his career with GW Basic and was able to develop software applications and games with Visual Basic 6.0 and see through his self studies. He is also interested in artificial intelligence and didactic programming techniques. Chamira has also participated in many programming competitions and was able to achieve many awards. He has also represented Sri Lanka for Apicta in year 2007. Chamira is a programmer who has slight interest in performing underground street magic as well. Sukanti Lin Hussein is a native Sri Lankan currently working in the US in the field of education technology. Her research and work encompasses user experience design, usability and educational software. You can contact her on Twitter at Sukanti. As always, let me end this editorial with a quotation, this time by Lily Tomlin, who once said, I like a teacher who gives you something to take home to think about besides homework. This is Kihan Fernando signing out of the editorial desk of Digital Health